World Wide Web. It's Shannon Nicole Stevens, and I was watching the news this evening, and I felt compelled to just want to say something. As an economics major, minor in political science, I just felt something isn't right. So on the news, they spoke of Mayor Bill de Blasio. He's the mayor in New York. How he wants to um, diversify New York City elite high schools. I don't think it's right. I feel as though that Dr. Martin Luther King stood for us being um, judged on the content of our character, not to judge us because we're African American or Hispanic, and that's why we should have an in. Um, we should be looked at on the character, which is our ethics, our standards, our work that we put in. Um, it's only about eight seconds left to this. So go to my YouTube page and you can hear the rest of how I felt about this because I will elaborate. If you did come back to the YouTube page, I appreciate you for sticking with me and listening to my input. So I just feel it's not right. Like I went to New York City this weekend and I saw a lot of homeless people out there. And I know about 10 years ago when he wasn't mayor, and I have nothing against him. Like, I don't even follow him to know, like, what his um, policies are. But um, it just kind of all snowballed, so to speak, because I was in New York yesterday. And I saw a lot of homeless people, and it was just, it was really disturbing. And I was like, like, 10 years ago, I didn't see this. Like, they had cleaned up the New York streets. So to see that that's something that has set in, like... There are a lot of new buildings and um, infrastructure is really nice as well, but I couldn't ignore the fact that I saw that too. Um, so when it comes to like seeing that and then hearing this on the news today that they feel that or he feels as though and he's fighting for this. I, I just I don't understand that. And like I referenced already Dr. Martin Luther King, if you Dr. Martin Luther King, let's first say like by what 17 he was already at morehouse right so he put in the work and that's why he was rewarded like don't reward me based off of because i'm african-american or that that is just not right so if my child goes to school and they work extremely hard and they test in that's what it is you can test them now if you can't pass the test i, I don't know what to tell you you need to go and try to find some type of um, classes to take to make sure you pass the test. And if you pass the test, then you should allow it to be in. And if you want to base it off of um, ethnicity, uh, it should be this many people that are accepted, then you can do that. But they should pass the test, not just be allowed in because they are a minority. That doesn't make sense. Because if my child works extremely hard and they're there, then why would you put someone else there who's not up to their caliber? Where does it leave that person? It's unfair to both parties because I'm going to work hard and now the teacher may have to give more energy to this person who really doesn't understand the caliber of work that we should, we're able to handle. Like, it just doesn't make sense. And that's just my view. I'm not even going to elaborate anymore. But, um, yeah, that's my view on the whole topic. Uh, normally, I don't try to force my opinion or share my opinion. My opinion is my opinion, but I did feel, I felt compelled just to say something because I am a political science minor and it just didn't seem right. So hit the subscribe button. Sorry it's so dark. I'm, again, watching the news and I'm in the dark. Um, hit the subscribe button. Watch some of my videos. Tell your friends if you like it and... Everyone have a blessed June.